Hi and welcome to the Adam Shop YouTube channel. I'm your host Mohammad Azam, and in this screencast, I'm going to show you how you can use custom, how you can create your own custom UI table view cells. Now, in the previous examples, we have already created some cells, but that was kind of like a template provided by Apple. Okay, and if, let me actually run it. So there are different templates that Apple provides, uh, like this one. This one just uses the basically the name property over here or it just displays a label okay the which is provided by the template there's another template that provides you the image over here on the left hand side and the image over here and then it, also, it can also provide you the uh, subtitles over here or the description but these are all um, you know kind of like the templates that are provided by Apple sometimes you want to customize the cell so much that you need to generate a custom cell and it's not really hard to do that okay um, so let's actually start doing that we're going to add a new file and it will be a c-sharp class but instead of inheriting from ns object what we're going to do is inheriting inherit from ui table view cell and we're just going to name it customer cell okay and create that okay so now we have the customer cell and it uh, inherits from a UI table view cell as you can see all right now what you can do is you can expose certain properties let's say property non-atomic strong IB outlet and it can be a UI label and I can say name label I can also add image so this is kind of those things that I'm adding that I will be using in my custom cell okay and we are just going to go over there in a moment IB outlet UI image view and then you can say I don't know what to say over here so let's just say um, picture image view something all right and we are going to go over here and synthesize those properties synthesize so we have a name label and we have a picture image view but this is just the header file and the implementation file. We don't really have a, a design view or a nib file. So let's add that. We can say new resource and click resource over here. And then you will see, wow. Well, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Click interface over here. And then you will see different options over here. Let's click view. Okay. And of course that this is, you can see the option for storyboard, but uh, let's click the view option over here I'm using uh, Xcode 4.2 with iOS 5.0 but for the demo purposes we're just going to select the view say next uh, iPhone yes and you want to name the view we're just going to name it customer uh, cell and create that so it's going to create a nib file let's copy the nib over here somewhere with that here we go so there we go so this is the nip file you can delete this view because we won't be needing this view okay what we will do is we will actually drag a UI table view cell as you can see and this is our cell that will be displayed in the uh, in the UI table view that we were using before okay and now at this point you can design your cell but first go ahead and set the class for the cell from UI table view cell to a customer cell so that it will link to these two classes and that's pretty much it now when you click over here on the file owner and you say right click it's kind of weird it should uh, is it not set let me see says customer cell Hmm. let me see over here if we actually declare those properties so we do have those properties um, 
hopefully I don't think I have to declare them over here picture and a UI label it's kind of weird not really sure if I'm missing anything so let's now actually go ahead and add a few things over here we're going to say UI label and let's drag a label over here inside the uh, the, the what is that called the cell and let's move it a little bit over here let's see where the label fits properly there we go and then we can also have a UI image view so you can drag different controls now inside the UI table view cell this is your cell you can design it any way that you want okay let's push this over here and image view let's make it uh, height and width let's give it a 64 and 64 you can see that the image is too large that's not a big deal because you can adjust the width and the height of the cell also so let's say 66 and still it's not a uh, so 88 here we go and let's move it a little bit here so you can pretty much do anything that you want see here we go I'm not really sure why it's not displaying those two things it should display uh, the file owner let's see who is the final owner hmm customer cell okay so we set the file owner to customer cell uh, so I think there's a bug or something in this but anyway so now we have all the properties that we declared name label so we are just going to go over here and connect this to a name and then picture image view and we are going to connect it, connect it to uh, this particular you know image so if this is good if you're populating the image uh, then you expose it in your customer cell.m file we might not do that let's see if I can actually have an image so I only have one image which is like some grass or something or plants displaying okay so let's build this okay everything is okay and now let's return to our view controller and import customer cell so I'm just going to say customer cell dot h let's build it again and we're going to go to the code which is cell for row at index okay and instead of using this code which uses the UI table view cell we are going to use our own cell which is customer cell all right and I am going to let's see actually I have that code let's see if I can copy paste that code so it will be much more quicker No, oh, it's not this article. Let me check it out. So basically over here, what we're going to do, we already have the NIP file, which is XIB file. We're going to load the uh, our cell from the NIP file. Okay. And we're going to assign different values to it. Just trying to see where my code is. Sorry about that. Okay, and just a minute. Okay, so instead of this code, we, what we can do is we can use some other code that will load the NIP file. Okay, so this is the code that you need. Now let's go by step by step. So unique identifier instead of cus, uh, person uh, cell, we're just going to say this is a customer cell. Uh, instead of the person cell over here this is customer cell over here and then person cell we don't really have a person cell it's called a customer cell okay person table view we don't really have a person table view our table view is named table view and then we can make a customer object 
and then over here we can make a customer and this is instead of persons it's customers and load nip name so this will be the name of the file which is customer cell over here so we are just going to replace it with customer cell and so basically what I'm doing is since I copied this code from somewhere uh, and I'll show you the link it's actually my article if you click if you go to high encoding you'll find this article article ID number 823 okay so this is uh, also sending uh, you can see different things uh, cell dot name label dot text equal to uh, customer dot name we don't really have a company name or anything else so that's pretty much it let's build this everything seems to be okay so this is a code basically which goes to the nip file and load the customer cell from there okay uh, oh yeah I think it might be it might not run because I have to provide one more thing let's see okay so see this over here unique identifier customer cell what you need to do is you need to go to your uh, cell and give it a unique identifier which is exactly the same like customer cell okay let's run it now weird uh, customer cell load nip name hmm okay let's see this class is not key coding for key name label that's interesting so let's go back to our over here we do have a name label which is a UI label and over here we also do have a name label and We have a name label over here. Top level customer cell. That is okay. Let me check out the code that I have. I'm not sure why it's giving us these problems. I pretty much copy pasted the code. So it should work. person object uh, let me see the interface everything looks pretty much okay to me that's kind of weird customer basically this should display the values uh, let me run it again. And see this error. Set value for undefined key. This class is not key value code compliant for the key name label. Customer cell. So this is the customer cell class. And name label it might be that this is saying that I have to declare over here maybe IB outlet UI label name label hmm no it's not doing that let's see so let's go ahead and see in the XIB file name label connected to a label seems about right to me oh hold on a second ah 
that is not going to work because hold on a second so this should be the ns object okay and this is actually the the cell that you need to hook it on to so let's go ahead and see the properties over here yeah remove those properties from over here so this is good because we are learning that don't do this you have to bind it to the cell and not the, the, the owner okay because the owner doesn't really contain those things so let's bind this to name label over here and picture image view is bind to this but we're not really going to use picture image view uh, the reason is that we're not really changing the image at runtime okay so here we go so we get those things but one of the problems that you see is that um, the Im the row is much you know much bigger than it's uh, looking in the table so we can actually tell the table how much is a bigger row uh, let's go over here it's 88 in height so if we go to our file over here and here we go row height is 88 let's save it let's run it again and now you can see it's okay uh, the the name that you can you can actually fix the name just by going over here and extending the name field to the end so that you can actually see the name okay so that's pretty much it I mean uh, we we did ran into some problems but uh, we also fixed that so you know that the problem was that we were pulling it to the we were connecting the UI name label or the UI element to the controller uh, or the owner but we should have been doing that to the uh, to the Excel okay the custom cell that the class that we developed so that's pretty much it and you can see now that uh, you can see the cell you can select it and it gives you a nice image on the left hand side although there is a template for doing that but now you can add anything that you want you can add an image over here you can add more labels over here now you know how to do a custom cell all right hope you like this video thank you very much if this video helped you in any case i do accept donations and your donations are always available. Uh, you can send a donation to PayPal at azamsharp at gmail.com. Hope you like this video. Thank you very much.